Warning! Not for the easily offended or the pussy hearted. You have been warned. Oh, just went stop. back to. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me you yeah. woke up from death and what you did in front of everybody was just laugh <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh yeah. man, I would love to die and come back and do that, dude. That's great. How long are we gonna let white people get away with saying the word vinegar? <laughs> Cuban people, I'm Cuban. Cubans uh, will give you a big face based on the one thing you absolutely hate about yourself. So my parents had a friend growing up that I still don't know his name. I just know that they called him Coral Lucid. Which all the people that laugh are Spanish. So when the green goes in here, I'll tell you what that means. It means sweet butt. And he wasn't even gay, it was because he had memory surgery. Baby out of the paper and I called it. Holy shit, it's the actual escape! <laughs> Alright, see, because I fucking hate dating apps. You gotta meet people a little fashion way. Bars, barbecues, church functions. That's how I met my significant other in church function. I'm full of shit, her sister sucked my dick. And they're both really good at their craft. So I have a theory that it's genetics, I hope. And that means I have to do the unthinkable. And let the mom do her thing. And if the mom's not that good. I'm just not ready to have a beard on my ball sack yet. <laughs> this is a PSA to all the women out there. A period has never stopped anything but a sentence. So fuck your shark week. Come here, my little Heinz bottle. I'm going to please you in 57 different varieties. What the fuck is up, Tampa Bay? Ah! Not only have I taken over this fucking douchebags podcast. I kicked him the fuck out of my bank, too. <laughs> He's a piece of shit. I was peeing next to this funny guy at work the other day. It made me angry. I'm a looker. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm gay, but it does mean I like to look over the stall and see what you're working with, daddy. I'm just out of curiosity. Scotty cheated that Scotty one. Chi, thank you. I shoved a banana up my ass. C-U-N-T, C word. I lost. And I got suspended, because the judge was a cunt. What was your favorite movie of mine? Did you recall any movies I did that you liked? Oh my god, this meeting's being recorded. Leave oh me. no. Oh no. Oh the no. The Chinese are here. Oh no. Oh. Hey, the, chi the, chi the Chinese right can back. be the Chinese can be here, the North Koreans can be here, but as long as Rick's balls stay in his pants, we're not, we're not <laughs> we'll be fine. It. We'll be fine. I don't know. Nice. When, when, when I saw your balls, Rick, I feel like if they had if they had an accent, they would sound like this. I'm Rick's balls. <laughs> More like <laughs> Hey, I'm hanging here. I'm hanging, yeah. <laughs> I've been stuck in those pants for many, many years. Oh my God, are you talking Good. about the? You totally talking about the fact that he would sound like the Edgar suit from fucking Men in Black, <laughs> Ooh. like Jabba the Hutt if he actually spoke English. <laughs> yeah, they actually, they made, they they made they sugar water. Dude, they were so well put together water. that I would uh, hazard saying that they were probably like French, like you His know, balls, yeah. Oui, oui, can I serve you these croissants on some... Voulez vous coucher on des trois, trois, because balls big, get big balls. <laughs>
Yeah, no, 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 that was painful. I, I did. I, I, are, are the French even real? I know, man, you have a French last name, but are they real? Yeah, that's not by choice. Hey, they are very real. Look, when I was a kid, though, I got a bunch of French army men and I had to return them because they came out like this. Ooh. <laughs> what a bunch well, of gays. Well, well, what Tony about, knows where that joke is from. Well, what about your German army men? How did they come out when you bought them when you were a kid? Like this. <laughs> they were about yay tall. About uh, tall. God damn it. <laughs> How long were y'all waiting for me? Oh, like 15 minutes, bro. At oh, least. No. Nah, I'm just hey, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I got really sucked into this fucking new game I'm playing. Yeah, don't talk about oh, it because I haven't played it yet. So shut the fuck up. What's the what game? What, what's the game? Diablo 5. Spider Man. Spider Man. Oh, oh, with Miles Morales oh. and Peter. Girl. I already beat it. Game of the year. Okay, Man. shut the fuck up. Game, Rick. Not your dick. I got no, the got I don't I, play video games. I, okay. it's, got, it's got a bunch of vodka in it, though, so I don't. You know what that um? You know, you know what that name literally translates to? No. What tiny what? jars? Huh? What? Arritos translates to tiny jars, just like burrito technically translates to a tiny donkey. Burrito means tiny. Yeah, donkey? a burro. A burro is a donkey. Anything with ito at the end means small, like burrito. Oh. Or, uh, chiquitito. Leave Poquito. it to the Americans to not know that and make burritos yeah. just the biggest, sloppiest fucking things of all time. Well, you want to know the coolest hey. thing I did over the weekend? I did not get the new Spider Man game. I am a. I like retro games, of course. You know, we all, you know, we're, you know, roughly the same age. We all played Dude, Nintendo, just old school Nintendo. Poor. Manny, <laughs> please. please. Wait, it's, is it because I'm dark? Is it because I'm black, Manny? No, it's because you're poor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, okay, I, this is one of the rarest games I, I never had when I was a kid, but I finally got it. Mario, Mario Party Ooh. 3, baby. Whoa. Dude. These, gas, dude. dude these that's games, a game. This game, I can never find. The only times I ever find it is when I'm at like a game store, collection store. They sell it for like a couple hundred bucks. I've, I went to the flea market in Olds Bar, $25. Well, I, I got I, one for you yet. that uh, I, I know you game. all are going to remember $5 this $5 one. For an antique game. I know y'all are going to remember this one. God damn it. I'm fucking out of focus now. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Oh, no, for um, GameCube. GameCube. Dude. Wait, I, I didn't have a GameCube because I got pussy. I went to my grandmother's and had to leave her house. And Nintendo she... bought out Sonic? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Nintendo, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, why Nintendo, you Nintendo bought out Sega. Sega forever ago. Yeah, yeah why do you yeah, think Sonic's been ago. on why do you think Sonic's been on like um like Super Smash Brothers and stuff? Yeah. Fun fact, the old Sega cartridges for Sega or Sega. Fuck, Yeah, that sound. The old the old Sega cartridges, that sound alone was sixty percent of the memory on that. Oh my god, my dick's hard as hell Holy just from fuck. hearing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You, they wanted the they wanted the experience of starting a game to feel epic, so the rest of it suffered. How cool would it be every time we came? It would it, we we say Sega. <laughs> I know. It. I came. <laughs> or just the sound of an Xbox turning on, so then your significant other automatically gets pissed off or asks oh. you to do Bleak. something that you don't want to do. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you just gonna, the Bleak. greatest. The greatest noise on, on earth is the PS2 opening. Oh, <laughs> the best you thing know, was hiding weed in that PS2. Towers, Ooh, yeah, those buddy. Towers, <laughs> those towers at the PS2 starting screen are actually your save files. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anytime mm. you don't pull out the fucking you got mail tone goes across. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, so last you've week, got nailed. So last week, you know, we, it was a it was a it was a rough one. You know, you know, we Rick's balls. I feel like we didn't, you know, really interview EJ. He was just here hanging out, which is fine. I mean, like no, we just interviewed the twins. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I I because I told EJ, yeah, I said, hey, let's have him. I would let's have him come back, and he's back. So and now we can record for longer than forty minutes, right? Now, yes, we can. 40 minutes. And you won't lose the audio. I like that. 
Yes, I'm. I'm a. <laughs> I, I I expect I expect two dollars to be cash up to me as soon as possible. Two Dara. I'm just fucking with you. you know, oh God damn, America charging me so much fucking oh, money. A uh, two dollar, bro. Uh, maybe one dollar. Yeah. Maybe so, if you would have consulted us in the group chat about this charge, we could have yay or nayed it. Don't worry yeah, about it. I'm not. First time I'm, not I heard that, about it. I'm not that Jewish. Look, I'm very, very nosy. Jewish. And it's the first time I've heard Is that of it. a Jew joke, man. <laughs> 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 No, uh, oh hey, God! Hamas asked you to stop that. Hey, oh, I mean, Manny I the Jew. Chickpeas. Manny the Jew would be worried about the West Bank. <laughs> Dude, I've had Acropolis twice in the past week, and it's great. Well, I mean, the word "bank" is in it. <laughs> I know. Of course, I'm worried about it. <laughs> you keep smoking that, and you're going to reach the Golem Heights. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just got this really cool piece. I just want to uh, throw it out there. Was it a butt plug? It was Looks like a butt only plug. 35 bucks. Check out Token Tools. They make amazing. Hey, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Is that your company? No free ads. Is that your company? No free ads. No, nah, just uh, really hey, good car. people making really good products. Ow. No free ads. Yeah, fuck them. No free ads here. You think yeah. people are watching this? No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the ones who are watching are probably like, where's Mr. Beast? And I'm like, now nah, the only people watch, the only coming. people watching this right now are the people that EJ sent it to. No, all fucking thirty of them that showed up to new faces, dude. Quite a few people watched it, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you. I know. I've that actually been surprised by the numbers. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The people that, that was... have told me about it when I've gone to do stand up at a few places, they're like, "Oh my god, that shit's actually pretty good." Well, yeah, now, when, without being on Spotify, I think we could get better views because a lot of people don't like to watch. People rather listen like in their car or something like that. So that's why, yeah, let's fucking do Spotify. It's it's wild to me because I, the other night, I think I told Scotty about this. I was at Kangaroo Bouncing, and one of the bartenders comes up to me and goes, "Your guys' podcast is actually pretty fucking funny, man." <laughs> he was like, "I I didn't expect that." <laughs> He's like, I didn't expect that from, you know, the guy who throws people out every weekend to be funny. I was like, <laughs> damn. Cool. Hey, judge a book by its cover. Yeah, person what a, yeah, listening. Yeah, yeah, what a, yeah, what a dick. What a, what a nutsack. Right, right, Rick? Yeah, big floppy one with a low hanging left one. <laughs> big floppy pink Italian nutsack. <laughs> yeah. That's My not dick's so much darker. It's really weird. So, Manny, what, you you know, wanna, what did you want to talk about? Uh, I'm sorry. Real quick, Manny, real quick, real quick, real quick. I just realized what Nick, or what Rick's balls looked like. What? The naked mole rat from Kim Possible. <laughs> Rufus. Yes, dude. Rufus. <laughs> Rufus. Dude, that's a dope nut sack <laughs> to have, too. <laughs> yeah. So now we know what Rick's ball, the noise Rick's ball sack makes. Yeah, Rick's just, <laughs> like, that's just that's nipping at bitches. The when he's cl- nut sack, love is that nacho naked mole rat. Cheese. But okay. when he's clapping his wife from behind, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> so Manny, what did you want to talk about? You said Halloween and I never what? Uh, so I had a stoner thought the other day. Yeah. If there were ever any day of the year where there is an unofficial purge night, it is Halloween. Because it is the one day of the year where you can drag a body in a garbage bag and nobody will fucking question you. That's actually facts. Got a good fucking point there, man. Well, and the second part to that is Getting away with illegal things. You guys ever gotten away with illegal things? Pastor Guy Sheriff's Department. He lives in Lando Lakes. Uh, <laughs> yes. One, two, three, four, five. I'll I'll tell you mine. Mine I've been was, to jail uh, too many times. I got away with selling fake Rolexes in high school because the principal knew me. Ooh. You are Cuban, well, right? There. They caught me. They caught me. <laughs> Makes they bring sense. me to the office. They confiscate the product. They give the product to my parents. I start taking them back to school only one at a time now instead of carrying ten on me. <laughs> I don't know if Man. I can tell this story or not. Me either. I have Fuck two it. that I'm hey, thinking of. And if you one think there's a problem with the statute of limitations, don't... I was literally me. about to oh. say. There's no statute of limitations. Proof. There's no there's statute just... of limitations because I never got caught. So, my senior year in high school... Stop. Like, that does not mean shit. Before you say no. anything, 
Just because you don't get caught doesn't mean there's not a statute of limitations. No, trust me, statute of limitations is long gone on this. Back is in high rape? school. No, would you guys let me finish the fucking story? Let him, let him finish, you fucks. I'll let you talk about your fucking whatever the fuck that shit is. I was is letting you stuff? speak, Anthony. I'm a good boy. I was too. It's these no, you two. weren't. You were jerking off under the table. I, <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, but how'd you, how'd you figure that out? Yeah. So, um... <laughs> My senior year in high school, everybody was on drugs because all of our parents decided to get divorced that year. Mm. Yikes. And then most people got remarried to the people they were cheating with. So, like, everybody's families just got bigger <laughs> and they still had to deal with each other on Thanksgiving. <laughs> but, uh, you have my attention. Oddly enough, that made all the kids go absolutely bat fuck and decided that they were going to start da- taking drugs at the exact same time. Fuck it. My. Mom's husband was the janitor at the school next to us, and they had to throw out all the medications that were no longer regulated for use in school. So I got a box of like five thousand no dos. Oh, geez. oh, you went dumpster diving? <laughs> no, my my mom's husband brought it home. Oh, that's and we just had this bitch. we just had this giant box sitting in the laundry room. I was like, "What's this?" It was five thousand no dos. So one day I just loaded up my backpack and you know, like when you get to school in the morning for home room, you have the meeting. Yeah. Like uh, everyone's in the gymnasium or cafeteria. I just walked around selling them for five bucks a pop. For anyone who doesn't know what's no dose. No dose is a like caffeine pill. Mm. It's kind of self-explanatory. Whoa. Isn't no it like trucker? Or... Trucker Some speed dude or something? gave me a thing called bump today. One more time. Some dude at work had this stuff called bump. Why, like Coke? <laughs> yeah, but it's it's over the counter. It's caffeine. caffeine. Yeah, dude, it's caffeine and hydrus, and it's in a little vial. <laughs> it looks that, just like blow. Yeah, and that's it's ridiculous. Just when you first and, said it, dude, I thought oh you said some dude gave me a big ass bump today. <laughs> yeah, um, that's what that's he what said I heard, too. too. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be here. I'd be out stealing someone's lawn equipment, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and copper pipes. Sober ish. <laughs> yeah, I, I just don't sober. do the hard stuff. I, I'm Mr. Organic, you know, and beer. Uh shit, yeah, EJ. What did you? What, what did? What did you get away with? That was uh, illegal. Uh, I'm not going to talk about my past. Like, <laughs> oh, statutory limitations. I'll say status. one. All right. So, tell me those. I sold drugs for a while. That one. Fair. Well, I, I, I didn't say I'm that close. part about my life. <laughs> There, if you're going to talk about, like, the whole thing, like, I grew up in that lifestyle. Like, my mom was a crackhead. We talked about this. You guys have heard this personally. You know, so mm-hmm. that was something I didn't find to be yeah, a bad thing. Well, mainly weed and, like, coke. I didn't find it to be bad, you know. And I, All right. You I were desensitized. Like, yeah. Uh, and, like, that lifestyle, that violence and all that. And it took me getting older and a little wiser, I guess, to – turn away from that and be like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah, you think it's not a bad thing, but somebody's life is fucked over it. You know, like my childhood was fucked over it. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. you know, it takes, I guess, reaching the age of reason for you to be like, dude, not everything that you would think is a victimless crime is a victimless crime. Like you think going into Walmart and stealing a DVD is a victimless crime, but long run of it is everybody pays for that. You wouldn't yeah. download a car. Don't As I still pirate, I still pirate pay per views. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I mean, we don't even pay all you, bro. I'm nah, not paying one hundred and twenty dollars for a fake boxer to fight. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we're talking about uh, Jake Paul now or Logan Paul? Which one? Oh, I didn't say any names. Dylan Dana. <laughs> no free advertisements. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I guess you can. I guess. Yeah, um, I guess one of the things I got away with easily, uh, I punched a guy's windshield out uh, in Daytona Beach. Hold on a second. You had the strength to punch a windshield out? I yeah, was. look at him. I was, yeah. You know, I was uh, in college. You popped up on Feastables. I was on. <laughs> no, I was on, no, I was on Blow. I remember I, it was like one of the first times I ever did it. Like, I was, I was like 19 years old. And I, shit my, I, sh- I shit my pants the, the night before because I did it so much. Is that uh, even Blow? Yeah, I'm done. Well, they cut with baby laxative. 
Yeah, I, not yeah. not the good shit. Not the good shit. I didn't realize I was gonna shit my pants in a hotel in Daytona Beach. I, I talked man, about it on stage. Shit, I talked about energy. I talked about it on stage before. I got I got to bring that. Not the yellow in. shit, man. It's great. I don't. I was a fucking kid. I didn't really want to do cocaine. So anyway, um, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I got cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you sound um, like Doctor Roxo from Metalocalypse. <laughs> it's funny as so. hell. Uh, anyway. Yeah, my, uh, I, I, I get I get I get cucked by my buddy and his and his girl I was trying to get with. I'm mad. I'm walking around Daytona Beach and this guy was texting on his phone. He fucking hits me with his car. I actually go like like I roll over like six feet. My butt hurts. I'm mad. And I punch his windshield. I didn't I didn't punch it out. I cracked it pretty good. And now I have a fucking injured knuckle because of it. And this has been fucking eleven years. I constantly, I, say, I constantly have to do this. Too. Ever since that, I, I, ne- I never got it fixed. I always have to crack um, it. Probably can't now. It's too few. No. <laughs> so, just random question: Did it? Did everybody go? Rick, I did it. Okay, after Rick, I have a random question for the group. We know what Rick got away with. Yeah, showing uh, his balls on the Gabagoolians. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> I'm not meanwhile, gonna he's a meanwhile, he doesn't realize I'm actually 17. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's only 17. We've been fucking for years. Though. That's <laughs> weird. I, uh, I, song ever. Go, on, go, ahead, go, on, go on, Ricardo. God damn. Blue not ever. I robbed this guy at college without him knowing while he was sleeping. <laughs> and uh, I got everything. some head from this girl named Molly because I gave her some of the Xanax. But how how is that? Shout a, out to Molly. But okay, you gave her Xanax. She, she gave you a head. But what's the illegal part? Was she like like twelve? Oh, across the I, ran, I broke into this robbery. dude's dorm room. He <laughs> the was sleeping. The bartering drugs for sex. <laughs> 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 All right, Mister Anthony. She offered. <laughs> All right, Mister Anthony. What's your question there, pal? So, uh, EJ and Scotty, you guys Uh-oh. do anything interesting on Friday night? We went to a high school reunion to uh, do some stand-up comedy. <laughs> I want to hear all about that. And how did that go? <laughs> how's your How's your throat feeling, EJ? Yeah, how is your throat, uh, dude? You fucking. I don't screaming. know if you can hear, but I'm still a little raspy. Yeah, you fucking. Many people you blow? Real uh, sergeant? Yeah, he blew like oh, yeah. twenty. He blew like twenty people. So full disclosure with you guys, um, I don't know if you could tell at the start of that that I wasn't like my normal self. Oh, yeah. I wasn't there, so give all the details. <clears throat> That was me, like, aside from, like, seeing, like, people that I know are funny on stage, not getting the respect they deserve. It was accumulation of a few things. Um, fuck, man. I didn't think I was going to talk about this. You don't have right, to. Right. You don't, you don't have, have to. Do it. I'm going to. I'm already started it, man. Uh, that Friday, I left work early. Um, my brother-in-law killed himself that Jesus day. Jesus Christ. So, um, fuck, man. God damn. I was gonna not do the show, but I know that if I sat at home, it would eat at me more. Yeah. Uh, and um just that sitting there and like you know, anger is the easiest emotion to process, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um take a breather, buddy. That's 20 fucking years that they were together that I considered him a brother and loved him as a brother. And uh I'm sitting there, that's on my head, and then, like, you know, Corey Hilliard is one of the funniest people we fucking know. He's up there on stage and getting shit for attention. I walk mm. to the back of the room. I'm like, you can't hear him. Can you turn it up? They go, oh, it's maxed out. Bullshit. And I'm like, can you, hey, I walked through, and I told people, I was like, hey, you know, like, pay attention. This is a good show. You know, I, I get you got your high school reunion, but these comics, fucking, we're laying our hearts on the line here, you know? Like, the worst thing you can do to us is fucking not pay us attention. You know, and the one lady goes, well, if I could fucking hear, maybe I would. And went like this. And I was like, all right, cunt. And I walked away. And uh, Mm -hmm. I was like, I told Ryan, I was like, if they don't want to fucking show us the respect and listen, then I'm going to make them fucking hear me. And like a lot of that yelling and screaming that I did was like venting out some of what happened with Cody, you know? Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah. And. When I take the time to actually fucking scream and yell, my brain has got the time to go do, 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 and wind up the wheels. So like clapping at these motherfuckers for everything they said as I'm yelling, I'm like building in my head shit to say to them. And fuck them. They deserve it. Right. So 
so I'll tell you guys, since this is a comedy podcast, what EJ did oh. was without a shadow of a doubt in my mind the fucking reincarnation of Sam Kinison. It really was. And I, I had a and I had to follow you, actually. Like, <laughs> I felt bad. But so, you did some good crowd work, bro. No, I I okay, I'll admit I had a lot of fun because like I was doing all crowd I was like, you know what, dude, fuck this. I'm not gonna do my bits. I'm just gonna do what EJ did. I'm gonna do crowd work. I just want everybody yeah. to start to start making fun let of me, that, and that's it. Let me explain Hold what on. EJ did. Really let me quick, explain what EJ really did. Really quick note. Really quick note. It's very fast. Who does a comedy show at a high school reunion? Nobody. That's what we all thought. <laughs> LJ Brock saying that to oh, offend bro. or dig yeah. anyone. It's just LJ, LJ Brock had the quote of the comedy. night. People are there to talk yeah. to each other. That's it. LJ Brock had the quote of the night when he said, "Life comes at you fast." Last weekend I was doing comedy clubs. This weekend I'm doing a high school reunion. <laughs> That's comedy, baby. That's so, fucking all of us too. <laughs> here's what happened. They're, they're ignoring everybody. EJ gets up on stage. And he's like, you know what? Fuck this. Jumps down, starts screaming about how much their high school sucked dick in football and all this shit. Starts telling everyone the business. Goes up to the hottest chick there. Out surfer doing fucking OnlyFans. Like, Whoa. Nice. And then in the fucking moment of the night that I could only describe as EJ better be funny in this one moment or we have to fight somebody. <laughs> he finds the only motherfucker there who's on steroids and has cauliflower ear. And for any of you people that don't know what cauliflower ear indicates, that means you're either a professional Greco-Roman wrestler or you do MMA yeah. or you box. Or, or you wrestled and you got your ass ground into the fucking mat all the time. Yeah. Or, you did or, rug- or you did rugby. Or you're Hillary or Clinton. You, falling your you ear took a lot. a lot of shots to your ears. That's what I'm that kind of following your ear Or you got skull fucked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of okay. I'm kind of following EJ through the crowd just to be sure. Yeah, I remember that. And I see EJ lock eyes with this dude, and I kind of grab EJ and I was like, "The only fucking person in this place to call for that's you're gonna go fuck with, man." <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Yep," and went over and just proceeded to roast the dude. He loved every fucking second of it. Fortunately. His favorite part was when I showed off his bicep, and I was like, did you play sports, faggot? And he goes, no. And I was like, maybe if you fucking did, they would have won a game. <laughs> like, what it was just like, like in high school. EJ, you do realize that was like a whole new you right there, man. I think you need to fucking continue doing that. Was like, that yeah. your Bill Burr Philly rant? <laughs> it's Spring Hill no, rant. That was Spring his uh, rant. That is just Sam Kinison. Life still fucks you even after you die. Like, just so, before the show, yeah, yeah. I was like, I had to do crowd work material, right? Like, you got it for a high school reunion. So I went up to a couple of the people there, and I was like, "All right, hey, who was your rival school?" Because I tried to look the shit up, but they were giving me a school that didn't exist when they graduated. So it was Central High. Their mascot was the Bears, and I found out a really interesting piece of information. Their principal, Miss Dodge, became a superintendent and got busted for a bunch of cocaine and sleeping yes, with dude. students. So that Woo! was my fucking, that was the killer line of the night when I was like, you guys didn't even realize your principal was here, did you? And then they all were like, what? I was like, yeah, Miss Dodge <laughs> is here. And that's what really grabbed them because I knew her name. And I ran up on stage with the Halloween decorations and I was pointing at the skeleton. I was like, look, she lost a lot of weight from her coke use. Yeah. Who else did she bone as I grabbed her finger? And that guy, Billy, was like me. And I was like, I knew one of you got fucked. So and then Anthony gets really? on stage. Oh. Oh man, this is funny. What was so, that, people, name and, and Anthony mind DJ you, Bobby, love that guy. Yeah. EJ I'm gonna and, tell uh, you, Bob. Anthony. He wasn't Anthony Rowan anymore. He turned into Big J Orkerson when he went on stage for this one. Continue, buddy. Turned into fuck this. So, oh, before wow. I go up on stage, two things happened. Somebody came up and bothered me about doing their fucking podcast again. Oh, God. Did you do and, it on Saturday, oh, by the way? Fuck no. I don't work. <laughs> Did you kick um, them? And then uh, Ryan comes up. He goes, I think this is going really well. He was like, I, I think they're going to have us come back and do another show. And I looked at him, and I don't get me wrong, I love Ryan to death, but you guys know me, I'm That's a very it. honest person. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I think you have a better chance of selling snow cones in hell. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know the other fun? Dude, that's <laughs> good. <laughs> 
So it is an acceptable line. I, I get the most energetic introduction at a comedy show I've ever had in my fucking life. Well, it was Ryan, right? DJ, yeah, DJ Bobby plays Ew. the perfect song to bring me up to. One of my favorite songs of all time. I love DJ Bobby again. I go up on stage, and at this point, I was running through my head of a few things I was going to do. One of the things was WWE SmackDown was on. Ooh. And I was just going to take a microphone and sit in front of the TV and just commentate it <laughs> for my entire 10 months. <laughs> so I get up on stage. Like, basically, I'm doing my, I'm, I'm, I'm roasting the people, saying how this is bullshit. This whole fucking thing wasn't put together good. I take it that Ryan wasn't very well liked in high school. No, he admitted he wasn't. Dude, we Ooh, all really? just, like we all love Ryan, and we all love the guy. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, let's be real. So Were we all cool in high school? No, no. not really. Far I mean, from it. I mean, yeah. I knew a lot of people, but yeah, I did too. Yeah. But I wasn't cool. Well, but I mean, reflecting cool, back, Rick, you were if, fucking stiffler if, like, in high school, weren't you? Just, Rick was yeah. fucking. I don't know stiff if I was, and I just thought I wasn't. I don't know. I was just a chameleon, dude. I got along with everybody. But... Yeah, same here. Same. Bingo. So, I'm, I'm telling most of my set to DJ Bobby, and I'm just telling him like what bullshit this, and whose fucking retarded idea was to do certain shit with this class reunion, and I was like, you know. Can we get a discount code from the OnlyFans girl? Like, <laughs> I'm just up on stage smoking as many cigarettes as I can in 10 minutes and having a conversation with a buddy of mine who I haven't seen in a really long time. You got <laughs> to smoke on stage. That's phenomenal. Also, that OnlyFans girl's boyfriend or whatever he was that was sitting there with her kept asking me to peg him. So that really yeah. made it fucking weird. <laughs> Damn, yeah, gonna get fucked, bro. When I yeah, when I when I uh, when I cracked it that they um when they said they do OnlyFans, I was like, I thought I because I thought he was the guy that EJ that EJ was no Anthony was saying that he was the one that uh is the fighter because he said what do we do and I'm like if I say are you gonna kill me he's like no 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 what do we do and then that's no, dude that guy was loving everything we were laying down he was one yeah. of the, that table him and the OnlyFans girl were one of the few that were sitting there actually watching the comedy show. Yeah. And when I had said to him beforehand, uh, he was like, I go, I don't fucking do high school reunions. Oh, I didn't talk to half these you. cocksuckers when I was in school. Why the fuck would I want to come see him 20 years later? And he goes, right? We're only here because, like, we heard there was a comedy oh. show. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Miss so, her in oh luck. by the way, she has, she has dentures. Yeah, the blonde. Oh, okay. She had dentures. No drag. Yeah, oh, she had dentures. Hell. Yeah, because she smiled when she, when she was like, I kept, on, I kept on, I kept on calling her Shelly, and she's like, "Why do you think my name's Shelly?" And her teeth kept on like, I could tell it was they're fake, and I'm like, "Oh," and I didn't want to be like, "Hey, you got dentures here, you fucking, I bet you give good gummers or something like that." That would be horrible. Be so, <laughs> so yeah, keep going. Andy. There is a point. Yo, Rick there's a looks point. Faded as fuck, boy. Oh, yeah, dude, there's a listen, point. I took the biggest dab. Let Anthony finish. <laughs> finish, Tony Montana. Jesus Christ! I think we found the name of the podcast episode. Let, let, let Anthony Tony finish. finish. Let Anthony finish. Let Tony finish. So, there's a point where I get off stage and I do my whole commentary of wrestling thing. And I was like, how much time do I have left, Ryan? And at this point, I have like four minutes left. <laughs> and I just go back up on stage and I was just like, this is really the dumbest fucking shit like I've ever done in all of comedy. And I was thinking I was going to talk about Aside from the American Legion show, where I told everyone I was going to fuck their dead grandchildren's wives. Oh, but, Jesus Christ. Yeah. But uh, I I was just like, you know what? That's my fucking time, guys. I'm not even getting paid to fucking be here. I did this because I like Ryan. You guys can see me anywhere else that's never this fucking place ever again. Because this room made the sexual tension between the back of my throat and the barrel of my gun palpable. Damn. And I just got off stage. And then at the end of it, mm. Ryan's on stage doing a whole nother fucking spiel bullshit. He's like, who wants to do more time? And I'm like, nobody. Wrap this the fuck up. And then Justin fucking Manges goes oh. to march on stage, waving his hand. I grab the mic out of Ryan's hands. No, 
No. No. Yeah, I no, know you didn't. I, yeah, see, I was right there. I never seen him scream like that because I I got the microphone and I said, "And give it up for Ryan Cliff and everybody." All right, that's it. Then Ryan kept on going, and then he and then Justin comes up wanting to do more, and then Anthony's like, "No." Well, not only that, but the guy that I love it when you lose your shit on him. The manager so of classics, or edit that out. I don't want to name their establishment. The the Stop manager it, right? of that location. Seriously, give that a beep. You don't want to air that. The we've already said that. the name. We've already said the name of the place like fifty times. Yeah. No, I didn't. Hear I've it said it way. at least four. No fucking way. She was a member of that class, so they were trying to get her up there to give a speech. <clears throat> and the guy that coordinated the high school reunion, other than Ryan for the yeah. comedy show, the Asian guy, and that the. He fucking loved that line where I was like, what did you do other than have everybody cheat off your fucking math homework? <laughs> I was going to point him out what a fucking shit and shit. say, hey, we found the guy with the smallest penis in the class. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't. I, I was like, you know what? That's a little too much right there. Last yeah. the I should have, though. God damn it. Like oh. Even Corey Hilliard, he was like, I'm out and just dip before we got our tip out and everything. Really? Oh, shit. He just left. I, well, I yeah. hope because we all got a, a nice chunk of change. No, we all got a nice change. Some of the people there donated generously. I saw one person drop a hundred dollar bill in the bucket. Oh, you know what the funniest yeah. fucking part was? You guys. So it took us forever to get the fuck out of there at the end of the night. And the reason was why is because Ryan had to count the tip bucket. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm going to go get more he, liquor. He gave the fucking tip jar to the fucking Dylan Klebold of comedy and had him walk around the fucking bar <laughs> to collect tips from people. And that, in theory, that's fine because people who are autistic are like golden fucking retrievers. <laughs> well, according to Shane Gillis, people who are autistic are actually cats. Fair, but he, <laughs> this is this is a friendly cat. Autism. He's more he okay. He he's more like what kind of dog? What's like what's like a weird fucking dog? Like a Shih Tzu. He's, he's like a pug. A pug. He's a pug. He's Shakes a him pug. out of everything. <laughs> he's a pug. So he's lovable, but he's fucking ugly. He's not, I'm, I'm, he's, yeah. not he's not lovable. So it was. Yeah, that's his stretch. Uh, it was you the end of Al David's, this. probably, hopefully, the end of Al David's set through LJ's set up to my set. He has the bucket out on the floor, and I go to get yeah. on stage and I point it out to Ryan. And I'm like, "Would you guys get this? Would you go get the fucking bucket from this dude and just finish it yourself?" Like the room wasn't that big, you know. He was just making everyone uncomfortable by trying to force conversations on people. What? Mm. And I get up on stage and I was like, I'm sorry for everybody who was harassed by our special needs hire. We were just trying to put them to good use in one way or another. <laughs> Come on. Oh, just... yeah, that was classics. We're never going back there ever again. Oh, and then I serenaded not... and then me and Anthony started serenading the parking lot. And then I started serenading him. Yeah, that was that was with some music. That was fun. Dude, that yeah. was so nice. That's now, because nice. I was doing Kickapoo, and you're like, "What is going on right now?" Ooh, but keep it going. Real long fucking time ago, when no. and it's not called Kickapoo. We started with Fucker Gently. Yeah, yeah, we start. We started it with. We started with Fucker Gently, and then we did Kickapoo, and then I decided to. I decided to finish it, and Anthony, and I was a serenade Anthony the entire time. I was just like, "You better shut your mouth. You better watch your tone." And he was just like, "What is Scott? What the fuck, Scotty?" I'm gonna say something. Right for the meatloaf part, huh? I'm I'm gonna say something's gonna rub you all the wrong way. Fuck you. (laughs) I did. I really disliked Jack Black for a long time. Don't I? I mean, he's okay. Like I love. He grew on me. He grew on me after after I saw him in the in the first Jumanji remake. Damn, because that was just such a brilliant performance. I love Jack Black. I love. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He's overrated. I'm I'm not gonna lie. He's I think Show the I, tits and I, the tits. Ooh, I think Kyle Gass is more funnier from Tenacious D, the the bald one. Peaches, 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 ah, peaches. Ah, 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 you. Ah, 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 
Dude, do you know what Jack Black, like one of his first movies ever? I don't know if you guys even know this. Mars Attacks. No. Airborne. Uh, No. Demolition Man. Never seen it. You've never seen Demolition Man? Mm -mm. Dude, that's so good. That is one of my all time Mm -mm. movies for like something that's so stupid. Like, okay. Best Jack Black movie ever. And I loved this movie as a kid. Envy. Jack Black. And Ben Stiller in a movie where they're neighbors and like friends, but Ben Stiller kind of hates him, but he still hangs out with him. He uh, invents a spray that when oh, you spray yeah. on your dog shit, it vaporizes yes, the dog dude. shit. And he <laughs> becomes filthy fucking rich. Ben Stiller had the opportunity to invest hey. five grand, didn't do it, didn't become rich. And the whole movie is about how much he hates him. <laughs> so, my to the favorite point where movie. he kills his horse. <laughs> and then my buries ja- it in the pool hole that they had digged up. <laughs> my favorite Jack Black movie. Maybe you can help me out with the fucking name of this movie. It was him and Colin Hanks. He was Colin Hanks, like fucking Perma Burn brother. Is what? It was Jack Black played Colin Hanks' the brother, but Jack Black had like Perma Burn from all the drugs he did, so he was like super fucking retarded. Orange County. Orange, Orange County. County right? That's a good one. Yeah. Dude, how are you guys remembering mm-hmm. these right now? Because we're not Those high. Are two <laughs> jewels, dude. Um, um, I like Saving Silverman. Lying. Saving Silverman's a good one. Um, that's a good one. <laughs> and, Everybody has had a friend that you're like, we need to get him away from this bitch. And um, yeah. even fucking, dude, I love School yeah. of Rock. I think School of Rock's a great film, too, man. School of Rock was great, dude. School yeah. Never seen it. Holy never seen shit. it. Shit, really? Never seen it. Wow. I still Rock's loved amazing. it in Tropic Thunder, too. Tropic dude. Thunder. Tropic was Thunder. Oh, really? It's oh, just a great movie. You By the way, that's all about the fact that Robert no. Downey Jr. did blackface in that movie. And nobody cared. And then, no one cared. And then <laughs> Iron Man came out, and Disney said, We're going to buy this and keep him on. Ben but we're going to replace old. Terrence Howard <laughs> with fucking. <laughs> So, the, fun, Don, the funny part to me about that whole thing is is that Tom Cruise is still trying to get the spinoff made of just Lex Grossman. Oh, oh my god. Like he's of still what? rallying for this. Him is Lex so Tom Grossman. Cruise, <laughs> he'll get yeah. it one day, dude. He's the god of Scientology. Aside from that, he he doesn't miss in his roles. Be real. No. Or he's kind of an amazing actor. You can talk about his outside personal life all you want, but when that man gets on the screen, he fucking delivers. He's amazing. I Ever love Mission the Impossible. goddamn Outsiders, all right? And if you oh, yeah, the fuck that was a good one, man, yeah. I don't know. I'm talking about recent. What movies. a fucking all-star of a cast the Outsiders <laughs> was, man. Underrated movie? Oh, my God. Night and dude. day. Patrick Swayze. Night and day. Yeah. And Cameron. No, the uh, list Cameron goes Davis, on. Or, yeah. Yeah. Okay. How, do all of you love Quentin Tarantino? Oh, fuck yes. yeah, dude. I love Quentin Tarantino. I love him as much as he loves feet. Frank, he writes himself Quentin. into a role to suck on Salma Hayek's toes. Doesn't get dude, wouldn't you? I'd be Absolutely. sucking butthole, too. Shit. What a boss. Hey, he, wait. He one last his... thing about Tropic Thunder. You know the reason that Robert Downey Jr. got away with the blackface thing was Ben Stiller took a ton of heat for the retard part. <laughs> yeah, that's the only reason why. <laughs> That is he literally the only he reason why. Well, like, he was no, also no, making like, fun of cool. those people. Vince he was making fun of the people that. Oh, he was also making God, fun of the people of that. that. Hey, it's okay I, to be that kind of way. Hey, a, a new nickname for you know who? Simple Jack. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. So, simple. We have Simple Jack in the Dylan Klebold of comedy. <laughs> yeah, Simple Jack. No, I don't want to will that into the universe. We need to Colin Dylan Cleveland. I do. Okay, I want to vouch that we get Rick Russo to play Stifler's son in the new American Pie film. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would love hmm. to see you as, as like Stifler, Rick Stifler. It'd be fun, dude. Rixler, Rixler, <laughs> Hitler. Yeah, he doesn't go by Stifler. It's the Rixler. It's the Rixler or the Hitler. The Rick, no, he's got to go by the Snickers. Rix a lot. Rick's the clot, baby. No, Rick's the clot. <laughs> no, your name is it's Clit, Clit Stifler. <laughs> they call you Clit. Clit Stifler. Dude, I'd love to do one. So, hey, speaking of uh, starring or anything, so uh, we had that uh, thing that we were all tagged. I don't. Boston. I know Rick and Tony were tagged in for uh, that new brewery place, the craft beer place. I booked it. Where? Uh, 
It's, it's called. Ted, it's, it's not new. It's right across it, the street from my house. It's been there for like three years now. Whatever. Well, the guy just bought the place three months ago. You're gonna start. Oh, doing okay. Shows. So new owner. You're start, you start doing mics there. So Wednesday the eighth, November eighth, is the first show there. Uh, can you four feature? Wednesday the eighth. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do an open mic to follow. I already talked. Oh, I don't fuck up again, EJ. Out. Let me actually look at my calendar. Oh, wait. The na- wait. <laughs> hey, let me look at my calendar, too. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. November hold the on. who? November 8th. It's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. Yeah, I can make Tomorrow it. Tomorrow is there. kicking. Yeah, that kind of... would be that would be there instead of kicking then, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to move the kicking link. Yeah, I have a question. Is I... that the dude that I DM'd? Because like, he had a thing out, and it said... Yeah, you need to hire comics, and I like yeah. that. Yeah. Shimmel, you, I was like, oh fuck, I know, I know you everyone. You and Tony were tagged in it. Okay. You and Tony were so tagged. So did you? In it, so was I. I was and like, I, I just, know half I the dudes. There, I was at the gym, and I went down. I was like, all right, it's right down the road. I'll go see the guy. And I'll ask you my it. question off the podcast. What's this place called again? The t- the Titty Twist. T- t- it's tap this. Tap, tap this bar. Titty Twister. The Titty bar? Twister is the strip club from Dustle Dawn. <laughs> Oh, that's right. yeah. I can make that's it. That's why I was still Whoa. thinking about her, dude. Okay. Why are all no penny pussy offer? If you can find pussy for cheaper than a penny, fuck, fuck it. it. Wet yeah. pussy, slippery pussy. It's like what are the we got white pussy, black pussy, brown pussy, dirty pussy, clean pussy. Yeah, EJ, I can make. I can, know my. You I'm know good. my buddy Cesar Rodriguez. Yeah. Cesar. He goes to oh. Monster Garage. Yeah. Damn, EJ. Yeah. This guy, I don't know. That like guy. A, What's yeah, that he literally that was, sent me the. I thought that was Derek for a second. Earlier, the the tap this brewery. Yeah, <laughs> and I never got I never got around to sending anyone a message or anything. I just got too busy, and now that you brought that up, I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck? Well, so I booked that show, but um, the this weekend Saturday they're doing a a Halloween party, and uh, okay. I'm gonna go up there, bring my setup and everything. And he was like, yeah, if you want to bring a couple of friends and everything and just heckle, like, fuck with people in their outfits, have <laughs> at him. I was like, I'll bring a couple. You know, so if any of y'all want to go mm-hmm. up and have some fun, you also, if you have the best co- the best costume, you win a TV. Like, they're raffling. Dude, out. I'm just I'll so pissed it. off that I have to work that Saturday because that'd be such a fucking blast. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be in Ocala. I'm looking now. What are you doing in Ocala? A uh, family. And doing my, and doing, I'm doing, doing a family. Yeah, yeah. Sweet on Alabama, baby. And, and also my, my, <laughs> my buddy, my buddy has a has, he's a he's in like a ska punk band, uh, and he's doing a show at his house. So I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll make an appearance. And I think a costume party as well too. But I, I, I isn't Halloween next Tuesday? Because we can wear like yeah. fucking masks or costumes on the podcast next week. Yeah. All right. The, the fight part is, is it, when you said you were doing a family, my first thought, and this is how fucked up I am, I thought Heimlich Manure is coming out of retirement to do a family oh, ties oh. part. <laughs> I don't know why you don't just call it Heimlich Manure. Heimlich? No, because no, because German porn star Heimlich is a German name. I know. Heimlich? Yeah, yeah but know. if you're that's making that's a porn that's... star name Heimlich, is it funnier because like I like ass and then manure? Yeah. Actually, if you say exactly. it all together, Heinlich. Yeah. Heinlich. Give it kind of that Hein-Lick. third rock. Heinlich. That... Heinlich manure. Give it kind say of that so third. quickly that it still mm-hmm. sounds like the original. You make them. Tony, we're going to say it at the same time. Give it that Give third, that third right 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 accent. Uh, Heinlich manure. Yeesh. There you go. There you go. That's spot Rick. on. Rick, why did you say damn, EJ? I could. I'll. I'll. I'll try. I'll try it out. I'll try that out because actually, funny enough, Mario gave me a good idea. He said, "Hey, when you do your cunt joke, don't spell cunt. Just do C U, and then, and then the audience will totally uh, finish it for you, and then finish the bit. And it worked. Actually, it it did really well down in Lake Placid. So I'm I'm going to continue doing that. What? Uh, can I offer a suggestion with that joke? Yeah. Go ahead. In the beginning, when you say C word, yeah, yeah, C word, C word, C word, say it three times and then go into spelling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I did do that in the beginning, and then I was kind of doing mm. it just to like fuck with people because they're because they're like, ah, C word. I get it. You spelled the speech about the spell cunt. Mm. 
I just what know people's is attention is very Look short. Look at how fucking high range. Nine fifty three. It's nine fifty three. <laughs> I'm really not oh. even that blasted. I was just up until like two thirty in the morning last night filming, uh. dude. Yeah, can you talk about any of that stuff or? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm just really. We had a like a business meeting about Suitcase City and like the next level and sort of what we're going to be doing with other mergers and shit and then mm. oh. that took hours and then we uh just started fucking off after i was completely gone off some of my special topics when when you when you mean Lord. like meetings what are you guys doing like just coming up with like ideas for like skits or something like that or beyond that literally the foundational aspect of each individual team member because what we're doing is also yeah. helping people throw events oh, okay so we yeah. have you know each position we have to have people that aren't comedians that are going to be doing these shows with us. And then some mm-hmm. that are comedians. As well, yeah, obviously. because I actually thought of a, I think it's pretty good. A pretty good sketch where I want some, like one of us to dress up as like a woman and it's, we're going to get a, a, a gyno. And <laughs> obviously it's like, oh, you go to check, you know, to see if the person's a woman. Clearly they're not a woman, you know, I think it'd be hilarious. I can see Rick being Dude, the doctor be or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll look at it. I'll even touch it a little. Yeah, it's just like, ma'am, I, I can't. It's like, I, it's like I could check your prostate. No, check my vagina. <laughs> okay. Dude, oh. I want to speak of that. I want to give a shout out to a fucking sketch group that I found today. Yeah. They're mm. called Paid Vacation. Mm, and no they have free, a sketch. No free ads. They have a skit. Oh, no, they deserve this. If you're going to shout out Head, head Shop. No, this comp, they did this bit. It's called Tony Life Pro or Tony Hawk Pro Lifer. It's a video game. Instead of being a That's pro skater, brilliant. you just go to Pro Life and you skateboard around with a sign. And it's like if you, I hit an ollie in front of this clinic, I get a bullhorn. Oh my god! Oh it's my like, god! Tony it's Hawk like, Pro Lifer. If I hit X Y X while this woman comes out, it's just me complimenting her on not getting an abortion. Way to save a life, you fucking whore! Like, oh. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, Scotty. Hey, e- so, Emery. You saw my Jesus thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> Here I am dressed as a girl for Halloween. <laughs> Are you coming? Me the fuck <laughs> What's this, Jesus? What's that, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck around that, and find that, out. That, I don't give a that. shit. Fresh <laughs> present paint, baby. God. Why do you look like the skinhead chick from American History X? <laughs> I look like Shania. Oh, I, I was just about to say, wishes, I look like Shania. You look like, like, you look, you look like when Miley Cyrus had the pixie cut. <laughs> you look oh, like that bitch from Ozark. <laughs> you look like every Brittany single, when she went crazy. Every single person you guys have named so far, I've jerked off to at least twice. EJ <laughs> included. Oh yeah, at least <laughs> maybe he thrice. Saw the ass DJ. picture. He mm-hmm. walked in ordinance one, and he's like, "You're such a fag with your ass." And I was like, "You jerked off to who, it." Who called you a fag with your ass? Fucking Rick. <laughs> Dude, so, I had no in idea. In a playful you guys way, I wasn't like hey, it and it. It on the podcast. And then we went to to the one show off of Main Street, and freaking. He walks up and he goes, you should have a bag with your ass. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? And it was right after Manny had did the cup picture. And I'm like, do you fucking see that? Because I didn't see him. <laughs> so here's here's a good question for the show. Mm, do it. What's your most unproud jerk? Ooh. Oh, I can't talk about that, bro. <laughs> oh. Mine's real bad. I'll fucking go first. My cousin. No uh, joke. Well, that's not a surprise with that act. Bro, no, look, listen. <laughs> I know I'm ugly as fuck, but the women in my family get that, like, bop, bop about them. They're like, the women in my family, some of them, Gross, my mom, look like a strip of leather, but, uh, cousin. <laughs> no, I got a cousin that was a stripper, bro. And this is when I was like 14. I was like, she wasn't my cousin. I try to smash. <laughs> Anything hentai. I gave her a thump into the no, fucking hentai. toilet. Not my proudest. Yeah, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta think about this one for a little bit, guys. Hold on. Uh, m- mine is tranny on girl. 
It's basically How the fuck just is that better than family. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can, get it. Can I, I get explain it. myself? I can get I explain it. myself? I get can it. I explain yes. myself? Yes. Can I guess? Can, I guess? can you let Please? Anthony I really finish? Guess. Are we gonna let Anthony finish? I really want to guess first. Because <laughs> I think I know where this is going. He loves right, go If you're watching porn anyways, there's already a dick in it. And it's yeah. a dude. Yeah. So if you're gonna watch porn and there's gonna be a dick in it, it might as well be somebody who's trans. No, so here's my thought process behind it. <laughs> he still disagreed. So that there's two women. Off to it. Oh, no. <laughs> my thought process behind it is, is it's two sets of tits. Okay. And you're still getting the penetration and the cum. That's literally what I said. <laughs> no, it's not. You didn't say anything about it's pretty it. Pretty close. You said trans. <laughs> yeah, I'd because one of them. Strap on because one of them. Born a dude, now is a woman, whatever. No, it's has not. tits, looks like a woman, has a dick. I have to narrow there my is like an a few. opposite of fucking Buck, fucking Chuck, whatever his name is. Okay, Buck, Buck is Angel. Buck Angel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There Jerk is out a the complete Buck opposite Angel. for Buck Angel. Yeah, jerk okay? out the Buck Angel. You're pretty gay. <laughs> there is going to be a very hot, attractive. I mean, uh, Filipino lady boys. First of all, if you haven't jerked <laughs> off to something, and when you finish, looked at yourself, uh, looked at what you jerked off to. Oh it. man, so many. Uh, you know how many drunk tours really get confused off. with the lady I boys. I got into a mess head getting fucked behind a dumpster. <laughs> so I, I was the one banging her. <laughs> so let me ask you guys: Is, is it gay? Yes. Um, if you yeah. watch an FTM bang an MTF, I don't know. Uh, oh, no, I had to break down your act. No one wants my okay. Opinion. If if it's okay, I'm a okay, real okay, pervert. Okay, okay, so. okay. okay. If the if the FT dick, if the FTM no. is someone that's like barely on testosterone, they FTM? still look very female to male. Female to male. If they, if they still Why don't look we very... just say a tranny? Let, well, Wait, sure. Because that's a uh, fucked up word. Hey, let me let me finish. <laughs> let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> if it's no, I'll say tranny. It was just hold if you on. say tranny, that's a broad hold spectrum. On. Hold be... on. It is a broad spectrum. But here what they I'm got saying a pussy is pussy or a dick, dude. They got a pussy. But here's okay. the thing. If the if the FTM tranny, whatever Rick has to say, if they are very okay, if they're not on if they're not on testosterone Trans. and or maybe like a little bit on testosterone where they still look very fit uh fem- feminine, shorter I hair, mean, whatever the no, fuck. No, no, no. That's out. fine. You're, but if it's someone that looks like all four all know, five dude. of us, the, I, you're looking way I, into it. That's yeah, not, okay, I'm talking about. Female I'm female talking about what Anthony like. Like if, like if I'm fucking Anthony with a vagina, no, I don't dude. know what I. You gross. guys are looking way too much into this. This was a simple fucking yeah. question. First off, <laughs> I'll was answer your question. You took a long road to watch straight porn. Okay, that's, that's all I'm wondering because I'm talking. I'm that's talking full, I'm full transition. I'm talking full transition, and Rick's correct because the T N F T M stands for female tranny male. I thought no female to male. Who oh, cares okay. about anyone? It's, it's, it's the same fucking question. thing because tranny yeah, is a, is a broad spectrum. It can mean anything. I mean, yeah, but fuck their feelings because they don't Look, care about man. mine. So all here's I'm the thing: is, I jerk off to it. All I'm saying is, all I've heard, sound. the word tranny is allegedly offensive and it's good. Gender. Good. Tranny, tranny, tranny. Okay, Manny Wait, the tranny. You're I wouldn't. I wouldn't be me if I wasn't offending somebody. Did I ever tell you guys about when I was doing roadside assistance and I had to call for a Dodge Ram that was having transmission issues? And I showed up and it was a, a male dressed as a female. No. And I was like, you you can't make this shit up. This was in Spring Hill. <laughs> oh my God. I was that's like, a bad one, dude. That wasn't even one of the hot and, ones. And was, she like, I, it was no. she like, was she like, I saw you at Tidal, by the way. You were so funny. It was he like goes, this. He, he, she goes, <laughs> You might be because I had to give them a ride back. back. I I had to give them a ride back to their place, and they go, "I'm sure you have some questions." And I was like, "Nope," but they proceeded to fucking give me an answer anyways for a question I didn't ask. And he said basically, he said basically, I got a divorce like a year ago, so I could live my true life. And I was like, "How long were you married for?" And he was like 40 years. 40? 40 years. 40, 40 years. years. Holy shit. Could you that imagine being the woman? Right now. Oh, yeah. She had to have killed herself. Oh, a thousand percent. Oh, yeah. I've been with one man for 40 years just to find out that 
he would much rather dress like a woman and take dick. Like that's got to be a <clears throat> rough break. That sucks. It'd be really funny if she went. Guess what? <laughs> Post off, baby. <laughs> yeah, I used to be a dude too. Go on. Uh, <laughs> That'd be wild. Uh, but uh, yeah, back to Anthony's question about um questionable things about jerking off to. I'd say I don't know. The one that I feel kind of weird about was. Probably amputee. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I saw, I saw, I saw, I, I saw this guy. I saw this guy fuck, fuck, fucking this yeah, chick with no arms and no legs. I was like, that's interesting. But mm. was he and, then, no and, then, and then another one. And then another one. This guy. Chicken nugget know, porn. I, I, don't know why, I don't know why. Like I thought this was interesting, but I thought it was kind of inter- pretty. Because it looks like a chicken time. nugget, dude. You're always so hungry. You're fucking. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You've never heard that expression before? No. Yeah, you, you never heard of the nugget? Get that bitch in some mambo sauce. Yeah, yeah, you Shout never... out to oh. McDonald's. Hey, that sauce is so I'd rather, so gas. Hey, I'd rather, so gas. I'd rather eat out a nugget than a vegetable. So, all right. Hey, there man, you. fuck these. Oh. Oh, do you think Terry... Fuck Terry Shivo. Yeah, you think Terry Shivo's husband's still banger? Oh, a thousand. No, she's dead. When I did that Terry uh, Shiva joke, the and then Nicole Raven was like, "You do realize no one under the age of like thirty is gonna know what you're talking about, right?" And I'm yeah. like, "Yeah, right. but we all know you've got a fat ass. That's a fact. <laughs> That's what you should have told her." <laughs> Miranda was. Oh, over I thought you were talking to me for a second. Oh, you talking? Look okay. at Manny's face. Oye, porque ella es una diabla de mierda, cabrón. Ya tú sabes. Yeah. Hey, quit speaking that. Una fucking... chocha con diente, cabrón. Mira. <laughs> Oh, hey, they don't, up, they don't speak fuck scribble. Fuck y'all up, hey, even, you guys shut did, up. You, you, you guys shut up for me and EJ start speaking that southern ease and you can't say a goddamn thing. Or I like that <laughs> perfectly. And me and Manny are going to speak fucking Star Wars and Marvel quotes That's very it. soon. Ooh, you guys are going to start Ooh, speaking E-Log. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> who's motorboating and who's sucking dick? No, I'm me and Boss Noss from Star Wars. Ah. Uh... I would. I want to bring up the fun fact. I want to bring up a fun fact for y'all about Star Wars that you don't know, and it'll blow your mind. I bet you I know. The the genre of music being played in the cantina. Yeah, it's not jazz. It's jizz. I'm not making this up. Google it right now. Anyone, right, speaking anyone of, enjoying quick. this jizz right now? <laughs> like, real quick. Um, what, I, I, I'm going to regret asking this question. Does anybody have Google capabilities in front of them right now? I do. Yeah. Currently on it. Can I somebody mean, please I, I, tell hey, me? I, hey, hey, I can, hey, I can share the screen so I can fucking. Yeah. It, uh, wait, is it bad, bad, dude? Do that. Let me, see what, let me see what the fucking Philly Read score it. is real quick. Read it. Fuck the Phillies. Hey, I hope they lose. Hey, I can tell you the Phillies. I can tell you the Phillies score it's right three, now. It's three-two Diamondbacks over the Phillies. Oh, jeez. I don't know what these words mean. Top of the seventh, to, zero it's, outs. It's baseball, Manny. It's for men. Fuck. I have to. I forget that I'm outside, so I can't yell like that. Why not? Okay. Your neighbors racist against white people. They might be. Yeah, knew it. Arizona's at team. bat. It's three-two. Top of the seventh, one out. Oh Jesus, Jesus! Oh, you guys are done. No, no, we're not. It's only the seventh. Cook, dude, that's a cook. Philly. It's only, it's only the seventh. It's only the seventh. Fuck Philly sports. Cook. I hate mm. Philly Fuck sports. The Phillies. Fuck you, Tony. I love you. Fuck you. Yeah. Why is cool. everybody? This is just the I fuck me podcast. Here. It's all good. No, no, I no, love. Here. it. I know it's the we want to fuck you podcast. No, so it's just the Philadelphia no. is a predominantly arrogant no. fan base for all sports that they have. That's why no, I said you were so full of shit. You're so full of shit. How am fuck I full all of shit? Sports. Dude, They're you guys threw snowballs at Santa eight. Claus. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no, fuck we threw sports. we we threw D batteries at Santa Claus. There's a difference. Yeah. Cool. Even better. That's actually In the batteries. Batteries. Washington threw snowballs at Santa. Yeah, oh, and wow. it was a different era. It was it a different was time. Yeah, I thought I'm the fact that my right? grandfather right? using the N-word. EJ, fuck, dude. I have to edit that out now, asshole. <laughs> I gave you one edit. You have one edit out of not. Oh. I, I could have. I didn't have to do any of that. None to of be that. Fair, to be fair, he did say niggle. No, he did yeah, not. Niggle? 
You said that on stage the other night. <laughs> oh God! You're, it's no, not a Anthony, ball sack. Anthony, I love Anthony's, Manny's eyes got Anthony's wide. Anthony's on he's stage like, too, and he, and, he, and, he, and he literally says, "You know, I'm really tired of I'm tired of niggles," and I'm like, "Jesus fucking Christ!" Because <laughs> no one's not gonna know what it is. He sure did. <laughs> I did that at Ordnance One too, well, or not Ordnance One, Chicken Wings. I was gonna say like, yeah. I was, yeah, I was saying, like Anthony, nickel, why'd you turn into a black twenty guy? nickels? What would you take? <laughs> Well, because I got to pack up and go inside because it's kind of late and my neighbors Dude, have how kids. How dark you look! You look like Michael Blackson. You fuck. <laughs> looks like Michael. I'm so black that he I have to wear like, white gloves when I eat like when I break my fingers. He looks like Michael Clark Duncan after Green Mile. <laughs> he looks like the back <laughs> of Michael Clark Duncan. Michael Clark Duncan's neck after filming Green Mile. <laughs> oh, that crease, baby! How stinky! <laughs> <you are>. That. <laughs> I'm... All right, so here I... it's a great movie though. That next I'm, you wanted to do it I'm afraid of the dark. I got some questions that I want you guys to answer, and if you want me to answer back, cool. Okay, okay. Let's do right. it. So Tony asked last time what got me into comedy, and I told him. <laughs> so top of my screen, I see Scotty, then Tony, then Rick, then Manny. Scotty, what got you into comedy? All right. <clears throat> been a fan of it since i was very little and i've i've done performing arts since i was like nine years old basically tried and you know a lot of other performing arts like i was in bands for multiple years you know i did theater work um and whatever the fuck and then uh then like seven years ago when my i was at my best friend's mom's funeral and i did a eulogy for her and instead of doing uh, regular, you know, eulogy saying nice words and getting off the stage. I decided to share some funny stories and tell jokes, and I was making the fucking uh, the entire Catholic Church piss their pants, and I said fuck on the on the chapel, and yes. uh, and then people were like, "You should really do stand up. You should do stand up." And I said, "I'll think about it." And then you know, like when I did TikTok for a couple of years, I had a lot of my uh, peers on there saying I should do it, including Tanya Lee Davis as well, and then. I moved down here and I was like, you know what? This is a good opportunity. Tampa's got a big scene. Two years later, here, here I am. And I met you oh, guys yeah. and I and I love and I'm so glad I met you guys too. Oh Tony, I know yours, oh. but go ahead. What got you into comedy? TikTok. And, and using it pressure. as therapy. Yeah. And, and peer pressure. Yep. And alcohol. <laughs> America. <laughs> okay. And groupie bitches. In that order. Rick. <clears throat> what got um, you into comedy? I've I've just always been the comedian, the prankster. Been watching Jackass, South Park, Dave Chappelle. All of us My here. Dad <laughs> used to play fucking Andrew Dice Clay when I was young. Like I, I just I've always been involved in in like watching it, but I took the music route, so I was comfortable with the stage. Mm-hmm. And then drugs took over, and then I got off drugs a couple years ago. Most of them. And then, except for the weed, you know, and then, uh, I don't know, my, one of my close friends, Robbie was just like, dude, I've been telling you for years to do it. He's like, just fucking do it and see if it helps you at all. And so I started doing it and then literally fucking like helped save my life. I love that. Oh yeah. I have no, I haven't had an urge for opiates, dude. And Ma- Manny, what about you? Cause I know we talked about it. Cause I know you did, you did on and off like years ago. Do we want the short story or do we want the, uh. Uh, so I, I did that minute Let's and a half thing. All right, so basically, my whole life using co- uh, jokes as a way to hide how I was really feeling inside. The yeah, same here. I never, yeah, I never wanted people to know that I was just miserable and dying all the time, or, or wanting to just not want to be. Well, being insecure around. with myself too, you know, I yeah. use jokes yeah. as a mechanism insecure as well as fuck. too. Yeah. Insecure as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Most so people just always listen. just, always just found the funny in every situation because I was like, if I'm going to be miserable, I might as well look at the bright side of everything. Yep. So joking was always the easiest way to do that. Mm-hmm. And then uh, basically just loving stand-up since I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Fell in love with it because of George Carlin. George Carlin. Um, that's, that's the god for me. Incredibly intelligent. The goat. Mm-hmm. Told the truth. And only, made only, only one that I think was is better than Chappelle. Um, and, uh, you know, having friends tell me back in 2017, multiple times, do you should try stand up? Do you should try stand up? We did a roast for a friend. That was fun. And then I actually went out and tried stand up 
fucking bombed my dick off. That was 2017. 2018, mm-hmm. I tried it again. Thought I bombed my dick off, but I've looked back at it now. Actually pretty fucking decent. <laughs> you showed me. Dude, you showed me. Yeah. I, I was impressed. I was like, dude, why and the fuck did you stop? Yeah, Why'd you stop? I didn't have the balls or the commitment to... The idea of having to continuously write new jokes scared me, and I just never did it. So sure. five years later, March of this year, I have been obsessing about doing comedy for the longest time and just never doing it. Yeah. Out of petty, out of being a petty fucking asshole, I started doing comedy. Mm-hmm. Because I saw somebody that I knew doing stand-up, and my whole thing is, if this is what you're posting online, this is what you're proud of, and I thought it was garbage. <laughs> Like, I'm yeah. funnier than that guy. Yeah, Fuck yeah, that! Yeah. I'm funnier than that guy. Yeah, and and that's a good out. and that was a good question that 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 I want to bring up as well yeah. too. And I and I know you what, just said yeah. it. Yeah. What? Okay. Like, who are your inspirations for stand up and comedy in general? Me. Yeah, all of you Fuck guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like 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 who was the first person that was introduced to you? But then like who really touched your heart? Oh wow. Um, I'm gonna Carlin. answer first because I gotta get off of here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the first one I ever saw was Stan Kennison. An HBO special that my uncle had bootleg taped off of HBO. Remember back when you put the blank VHS on the VCR? Mm-hmm. Record over your wedding. Yep. Yep. And the one that really touched me when I was like, hey, I could do this, Ron White. Ron White. Nice. Nice. EJ, what but, about you, brother? I love you guys. Love, love you too, you brother. Buddy. Bye. Yep. We'll continue this. So, all right, EJ, what about you? Whoa. Hey. So, um, awesome. the first, I can't remember, honestly, the first person that I saw. I saw so many. Yeah. You know, like I would sneak up late at night and fucking and, and see things. And when I was in foster care, my uh, one of my foster parents had an old uh, album collection. So I got like Red Fox, Red George Fox. Carlin, uh, freaking uh, Richard Eddie Murphy, Raw. Yeah, you know, all of that. And then the one that really hit me where I was that got me where I appreciated comedy and is the legend. I already we Manny already said it. George Carlin. George Carlin. Yeah. Um I've always been a history buff, you know. I, I fucking Manny and I were sitting and talking about history for like forty minutes before we even started the podcast that never went through, <laughs> you know. Dude, you know I'm, you, you know I graduated with a the with a uh, associate in history, right? No, I, no, I, no, I, I could I could talk Dude, about it all fucking day long with you guys. Like, look, we could go a whole another. We could we could plus. do we could do a history podcast, just the three of Yo, us. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm about that life. I'm I, down. I, I'm down. It, it keeps it keeps my brain going. I hate that people downplay history, and even in school, they're like, "Oh, fuck history!" And I always oh. sat there and was like, "How can you say that? Yeah. You're doomed to repeat it." Yeah. You know, if Hitler knew his history, history, he would have <laughs> fucking invaded Russia during the winter. Yeah. You know, real Rick. history, dude. Rick. Yeah. Who are your uh, comedy like icon oh, heroes? Wait, let me finish the thing for Carlin. Oh, yeah, good, good. Finish thing, Carlin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, my a uh, uh, guy that my stepdad worked with, uh, I call him my uncle, Uncle Jerry. Uncle um, Jerry. Oh, I, I was always tra- cracking right. jokes and shit, and he goes, "You're smart. <laughs> You're funny. Why don't you put them together?" And he was actually the first person I can honestly give credit to when I was about. Sh- 11 12 years old that was like why don't you do stand-up comedy and i didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about mm-hmm. and he gave me george carlin's book when will jesus bring the pork chops <laughs> and his album Brilliant. on cd along with alice and Co- alice cooper uh mascara and monsters and was like here's your birthday Sick. present learn yeah. that one love that one <clears throat> read that one and okay. that was like my solidification that George Carlin is a god because he used intelligence and the truth to make it fun. <clears throat> Fuck yeah. The one Hi. thing that I appreciated the most about him, and not a lot of people can pull it off, is that he could educate you and make you feel like you were smart for it instead of coming off as preachy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Big because time. Teaching mm-hmm. during comedy always comes off as I know better, I know more than you. Yeah. It's so hard to pull that off, Mr. Rick. I want I, I want to hear yours now, Mr. Rick. So my earliest would be, if we're talking true stand-up comedy, mm-hmm. it would be 
Eddie Murphy and watching like whose line is it anyway? Yeah. Oh my Those god. That's yeah. a great so, show. So man. then it became the fact Dave that that Chappelle. was all improv. Yeah, dude, it was really good. And then it became Dave Chappelle kind of took over and mm-hmm. Steve Park and that whole era and Jackass, and I just started really like being a fucking idiot. And mm-hmm. then um and having fun and using wit to fuck with people. But then <clears throat> after I got off the dope, it was Joey Diaz. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh Joey Coco. There's a lot and of I Joey just, Diaz And in dude, you. listen, I already know a lot Joey. of people how they dissect his comedy and I don't care. It was the I correlation. It. It's, a, it's amazing. Well, no, it was the correlation between he started comedy at thirty one, yep. I started comedy at thirty one. Yep, he there you go. Locked up, I'd gotten locked up. He had an addiction, I had addiction. Hopefully, he hit you... licks, I hit licks. Hopefully, he you meet a ton him. of weed. So do I, and we don't do anything else. So it was like, what you just fuck? like to eat your wife's monkey. That's yeah, it. Yeah. And I tell dirty stories, dude. That's my yeah. form of comedy that I truly it's blue cheese a fuck your mother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would say, okay, line, yeah. yeah, my my mind's very broad. I would say, like, okay, other, okay, aside stand up, the number one comedian that I. Like, okay, first off, you know, obviously, you know, I was a pussy growing up. I really didn't know how to take a joke. But then my 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 cousin's husband, who is also a big guy, taught me how to basically give comebacks, you know, like give it right back at the people, you know. So that's 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 how I learned how to become a good, you know, not only, you know, I guess funny, but also I gave it right back at the people, you know. Uh, so but other than him, I do thank him for that. But I'd say the, the number one, it hurts. the yeah. number one, it was is John Candy. Uh, really? fucking, oh yeah, yeah, John Candy for sure. But then stand up. So the first one, my mom introduced me when I was really little. I was probably Gabriel Iglesias, and then oh, love, nice. yeah, Gabriel. love. But then Old fluffy. But then yeah, I, but then guys. I was doing. How old am I? I'm thirty. Yeah. I yeah. thought you were older. It's not the premature and gray. <laughs> no, yeah, that's my that's uh, that's genetic. So, the, but then my dad. Cause I was like, you know, getting really obsessed about stand up. So my dad started showing me um, Tim Allen uh, and his early stand up years. Cause my dad liked Tim Allen a lot, and <laughs> well, please, uh, please and, and and oh. and Ron White, Bill Hicks, and whatever. Ooh. But then, but I'd say, oh my the, god, Bill Hicks! I would say the number one yeah. that um, I I definitely, you know, you guys probably can take it. Well, I probably can agree with this too, because I do this a lot of my stand up. Probably Louis C.K. And uh, and, 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 and lot, Louis C.K. and and Patrice O'Neill. Yeah, I think oh. those are my uh, they were the three. Dude. Louis C.K., Patrice O'Neill, and Norm Macdonald are probably my number three. But my, oh, my, my top three, yeah. Bob Saget. Bob, Bob Saget's Saget. great too, yeah. Fucking both the Olsen twins on this yeah. show. <laughs> because some someone I remember one time I got off stage and someone said, Do you remember so much of Louis C.K.? And I almost cried when someone said that. I'm like, damn. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, I was like, you said like, Patrice. Oh, said, Patrice for and sure, too. A lot of people didn't know about Patrice, and then he got like pretty popular. Like, true comedy fans love Patrice. Yeah. Um, but he got popular from the roast, remember? Yeah, that, that's oh, how dude. I got into. Yeah, I started watching those roasts. And, so did Greg uh, Giraldo, dude. Greg that Giraldo. Yeah, Jeff, oh, Jeff yeah. Ross, uh, Dave Attell. You know, I just got all those Mike. guys. Yeah, dude, yeah, back, yeah. back when, back when Comedy shit. Central was all comedy. When, because I, because whenever, Premium blend. whenever I would stay home from mm-hmm. school when I was really young, I would, like, it's when I was like, like maybe fourth, fifth grade, I would watch those stand up uh, little, like, 30 minute specials, but Comedy Central presents. And I think that that's how I saw Joey Diaz for the first time. That's how I saw, um, mm-hmm. yeah. I think Patrice as well too, and I was like nine, nine, ten years old when I when I, when I saw. Remember him. Dane oh, Cook so dominated that network for a little bit. Oh my god! Fucking hate Dane Cook. <laughs> yeah, we but all liked I him at one always. point though. Yeah. Well, we all liked Jeff Dunham for sure. I know we all did. Yeah, now not as much because he doesn't even do no. the voices. Right. Not anymore. I'm, no. I'm tuned into people's feelings. I'll grow it. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm anyway, the opposite of caring about people feeling. Anyway, well, it's that. getting pretty late, guys. I think I think we might want to yeah. wrap this up. I'm All getting. Right, well, I gotta, let me I gotta finish this thought of Patrice real quick. Yeah, Patrice, finish, that it, man, finish it. Finish it. Buffet. That man did no. so much behind the scenes for comedians, like telling you that was fucking hack, mm-hmm. you know, or that was this guy's bit. You just changed it up, right? Yeah. I was sitting and I was watching the roast where everybody was shitting all over Patrice, and I'm like, dude, I can't wait for him to get his moment. Mm-hmm. And my buddy that was sitting watching it with was like, who? I'm like Patrice. And he goes, the fat black dude? Like, never even fucking heard of him. And I was like, 
What? You never heard of open air? Never heard of Never heard of Teresa and Neil. Oh, it doesn't mean anything. Dude, he's oh, a and- savage. And he got up there, and I'll never forget this because he went, Y'all, I'm dying. You know? Yeah, and he and died like, like months after that Charlie Sheen yeah, rose. Dude, that hit me so hard because I was like, That shit was wild. Fuck. Like, I thought Patrice was about to get up there and fuck them all up because, like, if you saw his older shit exactly. and, like, everything that he did for comedy, you know? Yeah. Like, he was a savage. One of the funny, one, of, one of the best words I ever remember was, I'm dying. One of the best things Bill Bird said, because he said, you know, Patrice, you know, he, he said he can be your best friend. He could be the funniest, funniest person you ever met. And then there are times I wanted to fucking kill him, you know, because because yeah, of how big of an asshole he was. Mm-hmm. I, but he was I, just forward. Yeah. You, know? you need people like that, bro. That's why I don't have a filter. You need to fucking you an asshole or was he direct? Well, he's probably he direct. direct. He's direct. But, so but people misconstrue that the... as being an asshole. <laughs> One of the channels of communication is direct, and it is always the one that is considered to be the most asshole person because you don't you don't sugarcoat it, you don't change the way you talk to people. You are say people it how it really is. surprised that stand up comedians are direct. Yeah, a lot of stand up comedians are not direct. People are surprised when anyone's direct these days. Dude. There's people a couple that we know that are the well, subverts. Well, why do you think this yeah. comedy scene is so fucking full of drama? Because everyone is so like directed, well, most and of them they are comics, dude. You got to understand, a lot of people in this, and and it's this is not shooting at anyone at all. I'm just saying reality. Some of these people are there for a social aspect towards it. They're always fucked up. Don't get me wrong. I smoke, but I—I I mean, some of these people get belligerently drunk. Yeah, and they're mm-hmm. there, or come in geeked up. Yeah, or they're there for something retarded. Dude, and I don't it's even. Like, it's more of a camaraderie and an obsession with that talking right. shit and being an asshole and having this ego because they went out of state once to an open mic. Eat my asshole. Yeah, eat my ego asshole. thing for me is the reason that I got into promoting. We all know certain promoters. We've seen them rob people. Oh, We've yeah, seen them talk shit all. about people that are getting up there trying. We've seen them bomb. Okay. Seeing that combination, I've I've always like, you know, I, I didn't come on the higher end of the spectrum for like growing up with money and all that. And I was like, fairness isn't something that is um warranted off rip. It's something you earn. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. people say, oh, respect goes both ways. I think the way you walk and the way you talk immediately shows how you should be respected. You know, 100%, if you're coming man. off as an asshole immediately to somebody, you're going to be treated disrespectfully because you're coming off that way. Now, yeah, I've always thought for comedy, there are people that I do not find funny at all. <laughs> I won't. I will not say <laughs> to somebody that guy's not fucking funny because funny is objective. Yep. You can find it funny. The other person can find it the bane of their existence. But will I, what I will not do is sit there and dog that person and then go to somebody else and be like, yo, I'm fucking better than that guy. Give me Isn't a shot. Isn't that crazy how well, people do that? Well, and that's, that's the ego part of it. Well, and that's, I, that's where I, I keep, you know, the that. Louis. Yeah. The, that's where I keep Patrice's and Louis C.K.'s idea of comedy. You know, you not, I mean, obviously be funny, but you got to make people feel like, you know, you want, you want to make them feel uncomfortable. You want to scare Absolutely. the shit out of them, you know? And I, and I, and I, and I think it's fucking great because, you know, like, yeah, 50%, 50%, you know, make them laugh, make them feel very uncomfortable. I think that's, you know, the, I think yeah. that's the key catalyst of comedy right there. So I did that Friday, the dude, talking part? about shitting and AC ducts. Oh, I bet. Oh, yeah. You, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you, you that did story. that fucking Dude, big girl pants I, shit. Listen, yeah. I held it back, and then the crowd was like just waiting to hear what I was actually going to do with my shit. And I finally said, and I threw it in the AC duct. And you heard one lady go, No! <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Yes, dude. Everyone else Love was it. like laughing, but she was actually like, oh, oh, no. Oh, so, like. To go back to a point I made earlier about the whole uh, getting into comedy because I thought I was funnier than that guy. Starting it and realizing, holy fuck, this is hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Completely changed my opinion. So I never wanted anybody to think that I ever thought I was better than them. But what I have done before, and Scotty knows this, and Tony does too. But if someone that, has, that I didn't enjoy their set asked me, what did you think of my set? Oh, I've said this on multiple it. occasions. <laughs> I go, somebody liked it. 
<laughs> That's true. He said it to me I, once. Absolutely. Because I Be said real. it the first time. I said it the first time, and I went, oh, that came out wrong. And then I tried to, like, backpedal and explain it. I'm like, look, comedy is subjective, you know? Fucking, um, just because I didn't like it doesn't mean other people didn't like Everyone else was laughing. I'm different, you know? Not everyone's going to like it. That's okay. And that, I just went, you know what? Fuck it. I just, somebody liked it. No, you got you, no. You got to be honest with, especially with your friends, you oh. know, because I feel like everyone here likes to suck each other's dick too much. Like you know, I, I feel like know, we like, as comics have this understanding that well, we, if we, you don't we make know comedians why. laugh, that's okay because they're fucking jaded to hearing jokes all the time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we know our we know our bits. Like literally, when EJ gets on stage, I'm I'm literally I'm, I'm literally getting ready to say, oh, it's like, oh, what's your your uncle about the fucking fuck you in the ass? Come on, come on. I, I what's your opener that you do? I, and I'm like, I, I kind of like it's, mouth it. I'm gonna tell y'all the same thing I told my uncle. You better come harder if you're gonna <laughs> fuck with me. And it gets you know what's funny about that is like I tell them like I'm like how we doing and they oh, it's usually that weak ass uh, yeah. and then I come with the energy to it. Yep. And that line gets people because I'll see this with their faces. He's yeah. fucking saying his uncle fucked him. And like, no, I didn't. I made the inference to it. You took it right there, but it draws and their attention and that energy because then they'll respond every time. They're like, hey. yeah. Hey, it's like, like my, it's like my pet- frozen. It's like my pedophile joke, because I mean, I bet you anything, I have more than half of people who watch me probably yeah. think I am one. I'm like, no, I'm just fucking out of my mind, and it happened. A lady Rick, actually Rick, said, "You look like your camera froze." Now he's 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 not frozen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is going on. This is going on really late fillers. Uh, yeah, I love, it's not working. Anymore. I love- the ego thing pissed me off, so I was like, I want to make shows. We're gonna fucking put them out there. There's and something I said, for you guys. However, you sign up. That's the order no, you fucking no, go in. No, I split money no. evenly with the comics. Balls are about to come out for Rick. Um, but I yeah, do have to throw this you guys. Are you guys busy Friday? I'm going to call Tony when I'm done with this. Uh, um, I think I what's going there. on Friday? Yes. The guy from Taptus is doing a regular open mic and wants to get some people out there. Uh, yeah, Wesley Chapel. Oh, Wesley. Uh, yeah. I'm oh, gonna side splitters? I'm going to be in Ocala. All right. Wait, are you doing a show, Manny? Uh, yeah, he's no, doing just open mic. On, oh, wait, Friday. Duh. All right, I love you guys. Well, fucking, this has been I, another episode of the Gabagoolagans. Thank yeah. you guys for tuning in. Eat your deli meats and, and eat your wine. And personally, I want to make I want to make this really <laughs> really clear. I kind of want to. I not kind of. I want to make EJ a fifth Gabagoolagan. Maybe may be inducted. It depends if yeah. you pass the test. You know, you, br- you bring shit to the fucking table. He has and to I, pass and the and meat and I, sweat I, test. The meat sweat test. So, meat. Dude, that, that's what you we know, should wait. film. We got to talk said about that. this. Dude, I went to uh, – my anniversary was the 15th, and we went to Texas State, Brazil. Okay. I never fucking got the meat sweats. So many people say that shit. Dude, I can eat my weight and steak, and I do not fucking get the meat sweats. <laughs> I take a massive shit. Beef stick. I do not fucking sweat where you can smell it out of my body. Dude, that's what we should do. We got to talk about Here. that. Scotty is film a, uh, a thing about this guy fucking having to get initiated and we, we're going to fuck him up with some meats. Fuck yeah.